Okay, curry fans, we're back in the kitchen, curried away with Aidy, and uh, we've got something special to show you today. If you like really, 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 really hot curry, then you're going to want to watch this video because what Aidy's going for here is the Guinness Book of Records, and I'm not joking when I say the Guinness Book of Records, he wants to get them down here, and apparently they are coming down here to uh, measure the Scoville rating in this curry because it's off the chart. A curry to go, we used to do a man versus curry, but apparently, according to AD, that's a chicken korma compared to this. Um, and we're just getting prepped to show you this curry, and I'm definitely gonna, in, in showing you this, uh, I'm gonna put a little warning to this, do not try this at home, okay? <laughs> and please don't respond with like, you know, uh, reactions to this, uh, if you need to go to hospital or anything else after you've eaten this, then that's nothing to do with me. I'm putting a warning on this. So we're going to show you this recipe. The recipe that we're going to show you today is chicken jals ala. And uh, it's ridiculously hot, so take it away, Eddie. Without the aid of a mask, I'll wait for about another three months. <laughs> if I'm not speaking in this video, it's because I'm covering my face with a mask. <coughs> I think AD must be crackers doing this. Yeah, Out. Yeah, Out. Two spoons of oil for this one, guys, because it turns out it's a fairly dry curry. Yeah, so we need the oil, which can be skimmed off later, but you'll not be eating it anyway. <laughs> no, I'm not going to be eating this. <laughs> Fresh chopped garlic in this one, guys. So what we're going to try and do, we're going to try is just frying off the fresh chopped garlic. We're going to brown that first. Always any curry, brown the garlic. Don't burn it because it'll get bitter, but brown it. But you can burn it because you'll not taste the garlic. <laughs> Trust me. If you are going to try this curry, we would just recommend that you might put a um, toilet roll in the, uh, the freezer. fridge. Yeah. Freezer. Freezer. For the next day? Absolutely. It's a bit of methy. Just get that little acidic taste. Actually, guys, I'm not going to lie, this is stupid hot, and I mean, forget a file and all that, they're just playing at it. But what I will say is the flavour of this, guys, is really beautiful if you can stomach the heat. We're just going to fry off 15 to 20 to taste. Green chilies. They're just the Asian variety chilies, yeah? Yep, Asian variety chilies. And some green and red pepper. And just some sliced, sort of Jalfrezi style. Yep. Onion. It's looking nothing too lethal at the minute, but I'm sure it's going to get worse. So all we need to do is just. We don't want to burn it. Tomato paste. So what we're going to do, we're going to put a little bit of gravy in here, just with the oil from the top, and a bit of the gravy to loosen it before we, because there's a lot of spice going in here, especially chilli powder. Don't get me wrong guys, it's not just a chilli powder dish, trust me. But it's... <coughs> Already started, isn't it? That's just the green chili, man. Right? Just trying to get to the back of the throat. All right, guys, mixed powder, normal, one tablespoon. Salt, garam masala, extra hot chili powder, please don't write in. One, two heat chef spoons of extra hot chili powder. Okay? My oh my. That's looking rather dry, so we just cook that round. It will go boilified. Just cooking the rawness out of that chilli powder. Whenever I cook this, it only ends up two portions purely because you have to put so much into it. A bit more base gravy to loosen it up. And like any curry, if it gets too dry, you can put a bit of water in it. 
is what we're going to do at this stage. Warm water won't slow down the cooking. You're not watering it down guys, trust me. You're just giving it some body so that the spices can cook. Yeah, if you don't have enough liquid in the content there, the spices will just burn in the pan, so you need to keep them um, fluid really. And also at half heat. Right guys, homemade naga paste. Forget you Mr. Naga, that's nothing. One. Edie told me what he's put in this and uh, you just don't want to know. That's all I'm going to say about that. And this is my own special homemade Jalzala paste. Horrible colour, but doesn't really affect the colour of the dish too much. We wouldn't normally handle chicken, but we're going to because I don't want to be putting the chef's spoon in. And I've heard you said that the chicken just disintegrates in this, doesn't it? It can do. Does it just dissolve it like in acid? Yeah. Just for purposes, it's not going to get eaten, guys, so I'm not going to waste chicken. I'm just going to do that. Don't let your fingers either. I've got Actually, you were telling me, Aidy, that this is uh, one of your best-selling curries here at Curry the Way. Best-selling curry. How many? You, you, you've got quite a few followers that come in for it regularly, yeah, haven't you? We probably sell on average uh, 15 to 20 a week of this, and believe me, that doesn't sound a lot. But, but when it's this sort of curry, there's not many people that could uh, stomach a curry. We'll have a go. We'll have a go. Red chilli flake. Don't be shy. Are these just like the ground bird's eye chilies? Ground bird's eye chilli flake. Mr Naga pickle. Purely for flavour, it won't do any heat at this stage. Because the heat's already in there guys, trust me. Have you noticed that AD doesn't measure any of this out? No. <laughs> it's just copious amounts. It's copious amounts, it's born to kill, and that's it. Simple. James Bond's got nothing on this guys, trust me should be a license towards it. Do you have to make people sign like a sort a disclaimer, of a disclaimer absolutely. before they eat this? Fresh green chilli. Just to add a little bit yeah. of extra heat. Yeah. We would normally put a couple of pieces of aloo in there, mm. but we're not going to bother because I'm running out of room in the pan. I would normally use a big pan for this. Fresh coriander. Half gas. We'll use a clean spoon. Just one teaspoon of butter ghee. So anyway, I must um, I must say it does smell good. It is a really nice curry. It's just hot. Well, that's beyond hot, isn't it? So most people, when they think of a really hot curry, uh, AD, they would think of something farl. like a farl. What would you say this is compared to a farl? If a farl is, if a farl is, I don't know, a korma, then this is ten times a farl, if you like, if that makes sense. A farl isn't. The proof will be in the tasting, guys. It's just, I can't describe it. It's well, we're gonna have somebody is gonna taste it for us. <laughs> we're gonna catch their uh, um, reaction on camera and see what they think of it. Um, Self story, guys, with any curry, it doesn't matter how hot or you know, mild, mild, creamy ones, you don't use oil, except in certain cases. This one, oil to the top, it's bubbling away, and that, guys, is it. So, we'll serve that up in a dish and we'll do a taste test, shall we? There we go. It is a monster dish. It, it looks angry. I can smell it now. <coughs> 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 Excuse me. Let go. Do you smell it? Oh. I can smell it now. They use this in chemical weapons. Do you know, we've been in the next world war with this. Not a problem.
I'm not going to put a lot more I in I won't there. put any more in there. I don't think somehow that bowl's going to get finished. And just a bit of authenticity. <laughs> bit of coriander. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna just to add jack. subtlety. That's it, guys. So I'll take a look at that. What we're going to do. Um, when we started this business, and we started to go, thank you, but it's a um, really hot curry jobby. What came along with the business was a guinea pig, and it's called Dan. So, uh, Come Dan's on. going to be the first one to take a test, does he? Does he always taste like that? Dan the man. Any good chef always Come tastes on, his own Dan. food. Come on, Dan, you can do it. Any normal person would try that much. True? Yes. Blow it first. <laughs> that is very odd. <laughs> Next victim. I'm Come on, mate. And I'm normal, so I'm going to have a little bit. No, go on, Come, on, Come on, mate. Oh, oh, Come on, man. Bit of chicken? No, no, that'll, that'll do. I don't know why I'm blowing on it. Like, <laughs> like it's going to make a difference. <laughs> Straight away. Nothing at first. <laughs> <laughs> now you chef please, you've got to taste your own curry. Just keep burning. <laughs> oh, no. Come on, Aidy. And it gets worse. Oh. Oh, I can't sweat. <laughs> right, you're on. Is there more? Less Still the burning. Part of this. Yeah, the chicken bit. No, I'm not. I'm not chewing on it. <laughs> Not immediate. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not nice. <laughs> so on that note, guys. <coughs> don't try this at home. Yeah, don't try this at home. Please don't write in. Jails Aller from Curried Away Boston with the help of Julian Voigt and Mick on camera and our guinea pig Dan and all the staff attached to Curried Away. I won't be seeing you anymore because I'm going to be dead. Bye-bye. <laughs>